I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. One of the things that I think is really important for us to teach our children is to be generous and giving. So many of our children have so many things that they forget what about others that are less fortunate than themselves. And so I like to have my kids around contributing. And then the great thing is that most schools actually provide this in the curriculums now in junior high or high school, where kids have service projects that they have to do during those, during those years. And I think we can start much younger with our children in being of service. And you want to find out what matters to you, what matters to your children. Some kids may have a particular affinity. They love animals. So see if one of the local animal shelters will allow them to provide volunteer work with the pets there. I know our local shelter here has a program where kids can get trained and then be allowed to walk the dogs. And it's a great program because the dogs get attention and love and the kids get to contribute and be of service. Look, Bumble knows you're exhausted by dating. All the must not take yourself too seriously, and 6-1 since that matters, and what do I even say other than, hey? <sighs> well, that's why they're introducing an all-new Bumble, with exciting features to make compatibility easier, starting the chat better, and dating safer. They've changed, so you don't have to. Download the new Bumble now. When my kids were young, we volunteered for a local homeless shelter with a church that I belong to. And we, it, it was really amazing because my kids were very young and we were in this homeless shelter and we brought food and there was a mother there with seven children and there was two little four-year-old twins and my daughter's hearts just went out to them. And we actually had uh, two or three shifts that we had volunteered for. So we went home after one of the shifts and both my girls got together and tore out through their closets and got everything that they could in terms of clothes and some toys. And when we went back the next time, next time on our next shift, they gave these little girls, um, this bag of, of stuff that they, um, wanted to give the girls and they were so thrilled. And I think for both, both sides, it was amazing for those little girls to receive something that they didn't have before. And for my girls to see how good it felt to give to people that are less fortunate than ourselves. And they've never, never forgotten that experience, even though they were really young when I did that with them. Uh, it really helped to uh, instill in them a sense of contribution. And I think that's really important. In the past, the way when we lived on farms, say, 100 years ago, kids inherently had value by contributing on the farm. Kids as young as four, five, six years old already had serious chores, maybe milking the goats or bringing in the eggs or whatever. And our kids today don't have enough of that contribution. Being a contribution gives us, gives them a sense of value. And when kids have a sense of value, they tend to behave better. If they don't feel like they're, they have value or that they matter, they, their behavior will be quite obnoxious for the most part. So figuring out ways that you can take your family and do service projects together is a great way to create family unity and teamwork within your family. It could be something as simple as going to an old people's home. Maybe you have a family member that's in an old people's home and just taking your children to a few other patients or residents' rooms to say hello and to talk and to just be with those people. Think of something, create something together as a family and make a contribution and your whole family will benefit from it. Have a great day and happy parenting. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. I assume you're here because you're getting something out of these daily pep talks. And wouldn't it be great if more parents could hear more about these ideas for their children? And you can help me in a great way by liking the episodes, by sharing them on your social media, and especially by providing a review on your platform of choice. So if you could do me a huge favor and do that, it would really help get this out to many, many, many more parents. And we can all help our children feel more seen, heard, 
and understood, which is my life's work, is to make sure that all children feel loved and appreciated and that we can discipline them without breaking their spirit. So I hope that you've enjoyed these podcasts and will continue to enjoy them. And I really appreciate any support you can give me here at Positive Parenting Pep Talks. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy parenting.